Would you like to know how to set up the Restream.io chat? Then make sure that you stay tuned to today's video. I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech and if you want to learn more about how to live stream like a pro on various platforms like YouTube, Twitch, DLive and more, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn that little bell notification to on so you don't miss a single video. Make sure that you stick around to the end because I'm going to show you a little bit of a tip on how you can embed your chat into Streamlabs OBS. Head over to Restream.io and what you're going to do on the very main page is you're going to select the chat option on the left hand side is going to say download for Windows or in the instance that you're using Mac you would download it from there so we're just going to go ahead and left click on that. I'm going to go ahead and save that and let's go ahead and install it. Okay so as soon as you have Restream installed in here it's going to pop up automatically. You can see it's actually kind of got a transparent look to it because I've used this before. I'm going to take each one of these settings one at a time. Again make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to show you how to embed this into Streamlabs OBS. This could probably be very helpful. We're going to briefly cover that. Let's start it out with going in the very bottom right hand corner. We're going to close this out so that way you can see exactly what we're dealing with. We can stretch this out. We can make it as large as we wish to. Uh, I'm going to hit settings and appearance is the very first thing we're going to take a look at. Okay, anytime that for some reason the chat window is in the way, I just kind of just click and drag and move it on out of the way. So here we go. We can actually go through the various things here on the left hand side for settings and we've got com compact mode show viewers counter. Now compact obviously is pretty self-explanatory. Show viewers counter, it's going to go ahead and aggregate to all the various platforms that you're shooting out to, be it say if you're going to Twitch, to YouTube, over to Facebook, it's going to collect those all and then the very bottom left hand corner you'll actually see right next to the eyeball the number of people that are watching and you'll know how many platforms you're aggregating currently to by looking in the bottom left hand corner you see it says three of three so I think I've got uh, Facebook, YouTube and Twitch probably selected right now in my dashboard on Restream. It's going to show you the size of everything by just scaling it up if you are have bad eyesight this might be a good option for you to kind of do because then otherwise you don't want to have this gigantic window so this is a good way to where it zooms in on what people are saying always on top you can select that or click through mode um, I just go ahead and just leave those as is and then background opacity you see how I kind of got this transparent a little bit what we can do is we can make it completely filled and we can see it all the way but the problem is it's going to kind of interfere especially if you're just trying to keep an eye on Streamlabs OBS or OBS that you might be streaming through so I typically just try to kick it back you see it's about 80 percent right there and it's pretty doable so if I were to open up a window you can see I can still see what's going on in the background message opacity same same thing as the what we're talking about when it comes to the background opacity. I'm just going to leave that one as is so that way I can still be able to read it as it goes through. The very next option is going to be notifications. Again, if you want to uh, select that, you can always go into settings down here, but it's always going to pull up the same menu. Notifications, we can enable desktop notifications or enable text to speech. These items I typically don't use, but know that it's available to you. Embed in stream. So I'm going to come back to this in a little bit because this one's a little bit more labor intensive. So if you happen to be tuning in onto this one, you're going to probably have to skip forward. But I promise you, if you stick around just a little bit longer, I'm going to tell you the value of each one of the things we're going to find in here. All that to say this, that we can set everything up just like we do for the settings here for our desktop. We can actually set it up for our stream within here. Next item is going to be bot. Now this is available for, it says pretty much relay automatically forwards all incoming chat messages from each platform to all the other active platforms set up in Restream. All Restream.io bots are promoted to moderators on relay supported channels. Now keep in mind this is in beta mode so this is the reason why I'm just reading it. I have not used the bot yet for Restream because it's in beta and I'm just not willing to take that chance yet on one of my live streams. We go into analytics, it's going to show you what you've done from your previous session and then you can also take a look at what you did last week. If you want to learn more, all you got to do is just click this and it'll open up the website and it'll show you more details and breaks it down per each one of the channels that you're utilizing. 
Next one, Discord. Hey, this is one of the uh, areas I'm sure you're probably familiar with. If you're not, uh, I definitely want to get you turned on over to Discord. You can actually set it up to where you can send out signals to your Discord chat, letting them know when you go live. So this is a nice little integration. You can just simply just click, uh, click on connect Discord and put it to the appropriate channel. So in this instance, I'm pretty happy with it. And you can always delete it if you don't want to have that. Filtering. Now, uh, here's one of the things we can you know, set up. Again, it has a lot to do with chatbots and commands. I don't utilize this avenue because typically with commands, I've been using stream elements or I use stream labs. The reason you want to do any kind of word filtering is if you're trying to keep your stream, say, family friendly and you don't want anybody dropping the F-bomb or any other four letter words, you can always just put that filter right into here. Once you're all done with settings, all you're going to have to do is just X out this window. Now, keep in mind that when you're doing your live stream, everything's going to pop up in here. And in the event that you want to, say, drop something into the chat of each one of the different aggregated models, be it, say, if you want to just drop it over into Twitch or you just want to drop it into YouTube, you can select that avenue and then just type that message. That way it just goes to your Twitch audience. Generally speaking, I keep it right on Restream if I'm ever typing anything for everybody to see. Um, it's just so much simpler. Uh, keep in mind they're still dialing in some of their support for Facebook and since the API over on Facebook is almost always changing and Facebook isn't letting know some of these third-party companies like Restream know about these changes, it's kind of they're just having to catch up with them and uh, so hopefully in due time they'll get all the fires put out and Facebook will be supported really well over here on the Restream chat. So in any event, you'll see most of the people chatting through here on your various um, platforms over here. I have found most of the time that I get a lot of chat from say Twitch and say YouTube. Again, Facebook not quite yet supported, but I anticipate they'll get that in due time. All right, so now that we've blazed through all of the settings, let's look at how we can embed the chat in our stream through Streamlabs OBS. You're gonna select settings. Go into embed stream. We'll move this on out the way. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit copy on this one and it's gonna copy it and we're gonna hold on to that for just a moment. Let's open up Streamlabs OBS. For the sake of getting rid of confusion, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kill this right here. We're gonna get rid of that. Okay, so I've already got my little screen share over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in a browser source, add source, we're going to say restream.io chat. All right, we're going to add new source. And immediately you'll see a pop up here. We're going to want to drop in what we had copied right into there. And we just move this out of the way. We can see what it looks like. Now, in the event that you want to make it smaller, you can always make it smaller like this. But you can notice that it gets really teeny tiny. So I would recommend that you use the feature here where you can actually change the width and the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 400 for width. There we go, not too bad. And you know, I want my chat to be just a little bit taller, so let's shoot for 800. Yeah, maybe it's just a little bit taller. Let's, let's go for 1400. Not bad, okay, so see I can actually move this up here and we can move it anywhere that we wish. Now when you find that you've dialed it in the way you like it, make sure that you lock it right into place. Now remember, you can change the opacity on this if you go over into the settings again over inside your Restream chat. But in any event, if you haven't tried out Restream.io yet, I highly recommend that you actually take a look at the video where I cover a lot more of the features and how you can set up your account. You're gonna head on over to this next video and I'll see you there. Son of a bitch. And press record. Are you serious? No, no, I'm not serious.